What's going on everyone, unofficial Star Wars here, hope you're all doing well, and in today's video, we finally have a bit of a breakdown here, and review to the trailer of the newest Bad Batch trailer, let's get right into it. I know I'm pretty late on this actual kind of a breakdown, as there's other people that have actually posted breakdowns and reviews to this trailer, but I do want to have my take on it, and I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my take on this. The whole idea of the beginning of the trailer and that first half of the trailer is much like the sizzle that we got to see a couple of months ago that Disney had released alongside with the Andor sizzle. And honestly, in my own personal opinion, those didn't really tell us too much of what was happening and what was going on. Those were really just to set up a kind of a time frame and confirmation of these shows actually happening. However, this trailer released and showed us a lot of new things, including Saw Gerrera appearing in this upcoming show along with Rex and this new mysterious girl is what it looks like it may be a boy but for now i'm going to say it's a she because it looks like a she and her name is omega which means in the clone you know type of language in star wars universe it means last of so it really does match that whole clone wars perspective moving on we also get to see tarkin even more i love to see him in rogue one and in the original trilogy of star wars he's quite menacing and to see even more of him and his you know upbringing on him more of that we actually saw in the comics and books is really awesome to see i know this is a blurry shot right here of captain rex but there he is in the flesh and it's gonna be really awesome to see him and kind of merge off into what we see in star wars rebels with him we may even get to see ahsoka with him okay so i wanted to talk a little bit about omega okay so she kind of seems to be like a deformed or mutated clone much like the bad batch is actually however her mutation made her a female rather than a male something mixing around with the chromosomes before her birth and while mutations aren't really quite a common thing with the clones they are aren't necessarily not there they do happen especially seeing what the bad batch show exactly is and who these people are i also wanted to point out that thing that she's wearing on her head is actually a thing or a piece of jewelry that the caminos actually wear as well on their heads the caminos are those long things with their long necks type of things that we see there on camino so that's really all that we do actually know about omega and her character and we are going to of course see her grow on and move on into a more interesting and complex character here in the show and even with trailers along with the show i'm gonna guess that we're gonna probably get maybe at least two more trailers for this actual show before it comes out here on may the 4th and i also should mention that the season premiere of season one episode one of the show is actually said to be 70 minutes long and that's for one episode not three different episodes it's for one 70 minute long episode i'm pretty sure that's my understanding from star wars's a twitter official page on that Okay, so something else that kind of bothered me throughout this whole trailer, and it's actually showing right here on this image that we are on, is that Crosshair doesn't seem to really appear in that second half of the actual trailer. Regarding whether he died or may have turned to the Empire and actually is working with the Empire is unknown. My only theory or idea to that is that he goes undercover with the Empire in order to help out the Bad Batch there. And kind of jumping back to the beginning of this, of this video, I don't really want to completely bash on that little sizzle reel that we did get a couple of months ago, as we did learn a few new things about this show and that probably the biggest thing is that fact that the clones don't really seem to have to struggle with the inhibitor chips as they weren't affected by those inhibitor chips it's also kind of interesting to see that the empire wanted to test these troops out and see what they're capable of as if they were actually going to be used and be working with the empire when they really aren't i'm not really sure what that's all about whether they may have got captured and were actually forced to do that or what the case may be it's also kind of interesting to see in that whole scene there when they are actually fighting those droids and testing out their quote-unquote skills and the different techniques we do see dark troopers or at least an early stage to dark troopers anyway that's my full take on this whole trailer and breakdown here and of course my review on it is a solid 10 out of 10 i'm extremely hyped for this show and haven't seen any backlash or nobody that's actually not really that excited for this show so go comment down below what you're most excited for in this show whether that could be possibly learning about more about omega and who she exactly is seeing an appearance of saw Gerrera and rex actually appear in the show and possibly even at captain rex or cody I should say actually also appearing in this show alongside Rex and maybe even seeing the two fight and also go comment down below who your favorite Bad Batch character is and if you're actually exciting and learning more a bit about them. And while you're down there, leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to stick around for future videos and content. Check out our Instagram, Unofficial Star Wars, and until next time, may the force be with you. Peace out.